We reviewed Apple Reminders and the Files app a few months back. In this video, we will be focusing on what has changed in both applications in iPad OS 14. Apple Reminders is a decent free planning app for anyone who prefers planning apps to digital planners. It is a minimalist app that's worth trying before looking into paid solutions. You can now customize your smart list on the top sidebar section. You can choose what you see. In iPad OS 13, we had four options that we couldn't remove from this area. Now, they added another tab for tasks assigned to me. This gives us the ability to assign lists to other people and they'll get reminded of the tasks. Likewise, when someone assigns a list to you, you will get reminded and you can view those under this assign to me tab. Not sure if you've noticed, but these icons on my list look familiar. That's because Apple has added the option to use emojis for our lists icon. The 60 options they had in iPad OS 13 were not enough and they were not intuitive either. They've also simplified some text in the application. They removed the remind me parts of these icons to leave just date, location and when messaging. They also changed flagged to flag. You flag a task and view it under your flagged tasks. Not a major update that you'll dance around for, but it's something we noticed. And personally, I'm finding it quite refreshing that they dropped the past tense on the flag icon. Just, you know, personal preference. Petty or justified. They've also placed time on an independent tab. This is very important when you want to set a reminder for something that you want to do on that day. You can just go and set the time right away without worrying about the date. Speaking of dates, Apple has finally got rid of the scrolling date picker and gone with the calendar look. It looks better, works better, but if you loved the scrolling through your dates, you can still access that for your months and years. You can now get details on your task when you swipe to the left. Before, we could only flag or delete our tasks with this gesture, but now we don't have to rely on the information icon to make changes to our tasks. You can also do more with multiple tasks in Reminders. You can bulk edit them in iPad OS 14. You can set a date for multiple tasks, flag them or mark them as completed. And of course, you can still move your tasks to a different list or delete them. The Reminders doesn't have a way to show us our deleted tasks. This feature can be helpful if you accidentally delete something or if you change your mind about having deleted a task. It's better if you can find it from a recycle bin. Let's hope this is something we'll be able to do in the future. The Files app has had the list changes of the two applications. In iPad OS 14, Apple has worked towards a minimalist look for the application. They've removed the bottom toolbar that had your recents and browse tabs. The recents tab is now at the top of your sidebar and they've also added a tab for shared documents in your files app. Collaboration is a huge part of our work in 2020. It's good to access files you're collaborating on in any application that supports the feature. They've also removed the navigation bar that was below the search tool. They've tucked it away under the square grid icon. All the options on how you view your documents are under this icon. The Files app in iPad OS 14 now supports external drives that use the Apple file system encryption. Our workflow hasn't had external drives in a very long time, so unfortunately, we really can't demonstrate this as we do not have any external drives in the studio. Files can merge PDF documents. The documents you are merging must both be in PDF format for this to work. If you've not seen our full review of Apple Notes in iPad OS 14, we will have a link to that video in the description down below. As usual, would love to hear your thoughts. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you so much for watching. Awesome human being. See you in the next video.